I'm Skylar Takak. Welcome to HSBJ, Talking Through Every Play. I'm here with Brooke Charlton, Juliana Winslow, Hannah Garnett, and today we're going to be talking about a controversial topic, whether or not athletes who use performance enhancing drugs should be allowed into the Hall of Fame. What do you think? Well, I don't think they should really be allowed in the Hall of Fame because they're basically cheating, like all the Olympians that used it for the Olympics, I feel like they were basically cheating so they can get the gold medal. Juliet? I agree with Brooke. It doesn't. I agree with Brooke. It doesn't really. Like, it changes them, but it really doesn't give them a better swing or anything. Hannah? I agree as well. I think that even though it's their swing and their kind of athletic abilities, it does enhance their performance in the best. All right, Hannah, I gotta cut you off there because we just received breaking news that. Browns linebacker Miles Garrett fails a drug test facing an eight-game suspension for suspected PED use. I mean, that's detrimental to the Browns. Miles Garrett is such a fantastic player for their defense. They're, that's they're going to need some real restructuring. What do you think? Yeah, if they're not having him, I don't know what the team's going to do because he's like their main player, and they're just going to fall apart if he's not on the line. And all right, I'm going to move to Hannah. What are your thoughts? Well, I think not only is it bad for the game, but it's also bad for the outlook on the team. I think that it kind of makes the player and the team look bad. I yeah. agree with Hannah and Brooke. The team's going to start falling apart, and it's going to make the team look bad. All right, well, that's all the time we have today. Really unfortunate news for the Browns, but that was HSBJ talking through every play, signing off.